Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. I think that there are certain applications that we can draw from this for any generation, any culture, any nation, and any time period. That there are times that God in his just wrath will withhold certain covenant blessings from a generation of children, not because those children themselves have rebelled against God, but as a sign, as a ratification, as a confirmation to their parents that they have failed the Lord, that they have rebelled against the Lord, and that the Lord is indeed displeased with them. And I think that at least at some level, that's part of what we're experiencing in Western civilization today. Now, for a whole biblical theology in assessing the current situation, the reality is that God holds each individual person morally responsible for their sin. So this is not to say that anyone is innocent or that anyone is immune from moral culpability. Younger generations who have grown up and are now 20 years old, 30 years old, 40 years old, by this point, certainly they themselves have made many choices either to submit to the Lordship of Jesus Christ or to rebel against Him. And they will be held accountable for their own choices. They will receive rewards for obedience and just sanctions and judgments, not only in this life, but certainly the life to come for whatever rebellion they've participated in. But to pretend that each individual person is making decisions either in obedience to God or rebellion against Him in an isolated vacuum is a very naive perception of the world. We don't do theology in a vacuum. We don't do obedience or rebellion, for that matter, in a vacuum. In other words, none of us live the Christian life in a neutral, unaffected, unbiased plane. We are all, at some degree, products of time and place generations that came before us and the decisions that they have made. And yet at the same time, no one in the ultimate sense is a victim. The two things can be simultaneously true. It is true that children are deeply affected by their parents. And it is also true that children are also accountable under God that no one can stand before Christ on that final day and say, well, I didn't have a good mom and dad, so I can't be thrown into hell. That dog won't hunt. That won't work. But it, it's not that it won't work because Jesus will look at the individual and say, that's not true. Your parents' decisions had no effect on you whatsoever. Therefore, you're accountable. That will not be his rhetoric. Of course, the parents' decisions have a massive effect on their children, for good or for evil. So it is not that the children are responsible because the parents have no shaping and guiding influence over their lives. And it is not also that the parents have shaping and guiding influence, and therefore, the children are not responsible. It's both and, not either or. Parents are responsible for their children. And yet at the same time, when it comes to the new covenant, and when it comes to saving faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, when it comes to eternal life and justification, God deals with his people on an individual basis. 
Whoa, 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 you're gonna wanna hear this. Our next two conferences are coming up quick. We've got first, our fall conference. This is November 11th and 12th. That's a full day Saturday and a holdover for the Lord's Day, November 12th. Uh, who's speaking at this conference? Well, we've got Jared Longshore and Chris Wiley and yours truly, Pastor Joel Webbin. What's the title? The title is The Household and the War for the Cosmos. Now, I know you're thinking, wait a second, you can't use that title, Joel. That's the title for Chris Wiley's book. Well, I can use it because he's going to be there speaking and he gave me his permission. We're going to be talking about the household as the basic building block for pushing back the kingdom of darkness in this world. We're going to be talking about biblical patriarchy. We're going to be talking about marriage and parenting parenting, how to keep your kids, how to shape and form them like straight arrows, like sharp arrows that do damage to the kingdom of darkness, training our children in the fear and admonition of the Lord. A full day on Saturday, November 11th, and then holding Jared Longshore over for the Lord's Day, November 12th, to preach at my church, Covenant Bible Church, in Central Texas. You can register at the early bird rate, which will not last long, but you can register at the early early bird rate today by going to rightresponseconference.com. Again, that's rightresponseconference.com. Now, our second conference is our spring conference. This is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. The title for this conference, Blueprints for Christendom 2.0. Blueprints for Christendom 2.0. We don't want to revert back to Christendom 1.0, although it would certainly be a whole lot better than the clown world that we're currently living in. But we recognize, despite the phenomenal features of a prior Christendom, there were certain bugs that we'd like to see worked out. So we're not going back. We are pushing forward to Christendom 2.0. We believe that the blueprints are seven doctrines for ruling the world righteously. What are these seven doctrines? Well, it's reformed confessionalism. It's covenant theology. It's biblical patriarchy. It's presuppositionalism and Kuyperianism and general equity theonomy and hopeful eschatology post-millennialism. Who's going to be teaching us on these doctrines? Voldemort, he who must not be named, Pastor Douglas Wilson himself. You also got Mr. Bright Hearth, Mr. Kings Hall, Mr. Haunted Cosmos, Pastor Brian Sauvé. And we also have Dr. Joseph Boot and, of course, yours truly, Pastor Joel Webbin. We'll be doing seven primary lectures as well as two 90-minute panels with all the speakers together, and we'll likely add a couple more speakers along the way. Again, that's March 1st, second and third, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's Blueprints for Christendom 2.0. We've got the early bird rate going right now, but it will run out quickly. So go to rightresponseconference.com, rightresponseconference.com to register today. 